Zakayo anashuka because ya Kenya ameongelea. Umesikia? Zakayo watu walitoka kutafuta accountability June point for the next election. The word that our youth is used to solicit vote for the other election. The protest achieved pretty much. Now the collective conscience as a nation has been pricked and people now understand better. So when we go to inject, that is what we call our civic uh, education processes. People now understand. People now have, uh, the, the minds have been opened. Even when we go to the Matatu, when, when we say Zakayo Afanya Nini, they will say Zakayo Ashuke. Because people now understand pretty much uh, the conversation has been set, the agenda has been set. Zakayo Afanya Nini? Zakayo Ashuke. Because the president is setting a bad precedence. Tabunge na usiku wanataka night allowance. Hatred ni more, love ni rare. The demonstration just took a hold. So what we are doing right now is the revolution of the mindset to tell people why we are doing what we are doing, why people were demonstrating, why we need to vote, why we need to participate, why we need to have um, a, 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 a MPs and MCAs who are accountable to the people and not to the president. Because now we have state capture of all the organs, from the judiciary to the uh, executive, even the public service. We have the state capture even in parliament. We've had massive impact and we not only uh, do the civic education. It is not only confined in the matatus, but we also shoot and share online. And it has sparked a conversation online, it has set a, a, the agenda online on accountability. And also it has raised the generation of uh, active citizens, artists, lawyers, doctors, who now, have, who now are using their tools to uh, go also to the ground. And, um, educate the citizens on why they need to be active and participate in these processes. The, the true change is in our community organizing, is in communities coming together, is in word to word, constituency constituency kind of organizing, is in this kind of setups where we come and uh, make sure that we are on the same page mentally, that we are talking to each other, that we are saying we are living behind the Kenya that kills us, that steals our future, that destroys our present, that does not care about us because this is home for each and every one of us. We are still trying to battle our, our 60 year old system and we could not battle that spontaneously but we've won the hearts of the people. We've managed to advance an agenda that is fearless, an agenda that is not based on tribe, an agenda that is based on leadership that actually serves the people. So um, while it might seem as though in the short term uh, we do not achieve the goals of Zakayo Kushuka, in the long term with this seed that we've planted, there is a generation, it could be our generation, it doesn't feel like it's so far away, where if 2.0 happens, uh, it is highly likely that after consolidating our gains and knowing where our losses are and the bases which we should have covered. There are some parallels that you can draw from the Kenyan experience. People are becoming a lot more bold and it is no longer people becoming bold against staff. It is people who are becoming bold against staff that they understand, that they have all the alternatives, they have all the information. They can critique from a very constructive point of view and they can say no to what they think is wrong and not right for the, uh, you know, a greater good of, 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 of the public.